so first it started with all were saying that it is false or it is a myth but now we are getting some answers which are saying like four to five people are saying that it's a true statement so look up. okay so there is both true and false so actually the statement is not true uh, it's a myth so blue whales do not have the uh, anatomy to swallow a human or a car the largest thing a uh, blue whale can swallow is a grapefruit so we all know how big it is it's it's it fits into our palms so it's not big enough so you don't have to be scared of being eaten by the blue whales although you should avoid encounters with such when you are on a cruise or in in the sea in the open waters next one is ostriches will run away if they see a danger rather than going into a hiding so is this a true or a false statement so most of the participants are of the opinion that this is a true statement but few of them maybe two three of them are saying that this is a myth so we can go with the most majorities with true that this is a fact yeah this is a fact ostriches will not uh, wait for the danger to come to them they will rather run away and the myth around is uh, the ostriches bury their heads in the sand when they see the danger so actually how this myth uh, was circulated is uh, ostriches have their nests in sand in which they lay their eggs and often for a proper development they uh, dig in their heads to turn the eggs so uh, in a day two or three times they do turn the eggs for a proper development so people must have spotted this activity and since humans are a threat to ostriches they linked these two things and it was said that ostriches bury their heads in sand when they see the danger which is not true at all it's a good thing that you all know that it's it, it's a myth next one is bulls get very agitated when they see the color red is this a true or false statement so most of the participants are saying that it is a false statement we have only got one true till now and another true and a fact maybe 3 to 4 people are saying that this is a fact but most of them no better if i can spot it so most are saying false so that's true uh, they are not uh, very aggressive towards the red color but in bull fights you must have seen the a uh, guy uh, waving a red flag and uh, to the red flag the bull comes and attacks so uh, that's this connection like the uh, that's why people think that bu bulls see the color red and they attack so we should not wear red clothes and go outside or go uh, roam around a bull so actually bulls are agitated by seeing moving objects so when a uh, referee or the any person waves or tries to tease the bull by moving something like the flag in the bull fights so that's what gets them angry and that is why they move towards the target so if you see a angry bull maybe just quietly move away next one is touching a toad can give you warts so people hurry up just just find type your answers and i think we can go with 50 50 here alka that 50% people are saying that it is a myth and 50% are saying it is a fact yeah uh, so actually sometimes uh, frogs and toads are poisonous 
but their associations to causing warts as they, the texture of their skin is completely false. The warts are actually caused by a virus which is called the human papilloma virus. So by touching a non-poisonous toad, you cannot get a wart. Although if it's a venomous toad, it can have other effects, other effects of a poison, but not warts. So a wart can only be transmitted from a human to other, another human through a, a handshake or any other kind of touch. So it's a human spread disease and warts have no connection to the toads. Next one is piranhas. Uh, piranhas you must have seen in many movies like the Piranha 3D that they are very aggressive and uh, they can attack on any living thing and when they move away all you can see is the skeleton. So piranhas can literally strip off the flesh of a, leave, a living in organism and only leave the skeleton behind. So do you think it's true? Is it the behavior of a piranha? So answers are coming and most answers about 70-80% uh, answers are saying that it is truth that piranha can really rip off the flesh of the skeleton and like maybe okay. two or three people are saying it is a myth so please and like so actually uh, it's false piranhas because of their appearance have been associated with this aggressive behavior and a false demonstration of this piranha's activity was uh, uh, given in back in the mid 90s. So what was uh, what happened is uh, politicians, I would not take the name. He uh, he went to a piranha infested area and in those water he removed all the uh, prey or food sources of the piranha and he let them starve for many weeks altogether. So till the point that the piranha started eating each other. So they were so hungry, they were starving. And to that in infested water, he uh, he, uh, he left a uh, cattle. So because of their hunger, the piranhas attacked and they uh, ate and he they killed the calf. But in reality, it's not the nature of a piranha. So piranhas are actually scavengers and they only feed on the dead materials and they actually uh, help, play a very important role in the uh, in the ecosystem. So actually piranhas cannot I mean, Mihir, please mute yourself. Piranhas are very skittish in the presence of humans and they don't go around a uh, person who is swimming in the piranha infested area and uh, piranha attacks in natural habitats have been uh, have rarely been reported. So the fact that piranhas attack in a group and they kill you, it's completely false. They when uh, even in aquariums, people have tried putting their fingers and presenting it to a group of piranhas, they just swim to the opposite side. They do not want any encounter with the humans. So you can be uh, relieved about the fact that piranhas will not kill you. Next one is a snapping turtle. So uh, the fact here is if a snapping turtle bites you, then they don't let go till there is a thunderstorm or lightning. Everyone knows about this Alka that this is a myth. So I don't think we have any answers which is saying that it is a truth. Yeah, actually this is pretty clear that it cannot be true. But still I don't know. Some people from the rural areas have this belief that if a snapping turtle bites you, they won't let go. 
so they do uh, hold on for some quite some time so it's a myth they don't uh, wait for a thunderstorm or lightning they will let go when they want to let go of the victim so yeah it's better not to meddle with these creatures they are <laughs> their bites are very painful actually i think most of us have come across this one uh, that cats have nine lives people hurry up think about it 10 cats have nine lives how many lives do you have I think Alka everyone knows better, and uh, everyone is <laughs> okay, saying. Okay, so I think we are not getting responses from you. Uh, so yeah, this is a myth. So cats only have one life, like any other creature, and, and they are not magical creatures. This uh, myth was formed because cats are very good at landing and they, at their feet, and many times people must have uh, seen them falling from a height, and then next day they have seen the same cat walking just fine. So. that's why this this myth arose that cats have nine lives but it's not true uh next one is a mongoose so uh, mongoose are venomous and bite from a mongoose can have terrible outcomes uh, do you think it's true or false false so alka about 100% results are saying it's false just one or two inputs we have of true yeah it's a false statement so mongoos are non venomous they are very fierce and they do attack venomous snakes and they avoid human interactions but if you go on teasing a mongoos they might strike back so it's better not to engage with them another myth another uh, statement around mongoos is mongoos are immune to snake venom i spoiled this one for you i guess so uh, what do you say Olka, even after spoiling, there is one courageous person who is saying that this is truth. Everyone else is saying it is false. Ah, uh, okay. So this is not completely, completely true, nor completely false. So actually, uh, mongoose do have some level of resistance to the venom, but if during a fight it gets bitten by a venomous snake multiple time and uh, venom in the body is enough like a uh, significant amount of venom has entered the body then a mongoose can die so it's not really immune but it is resistant to some level uh, now my favorite parts of snakes starts uh, i am working on snake venom so uh, i have few statements around snakes so let's start this one so first one is snakes drink milk do you think it's true or false people just get reminded of nag panchmi where everyone just gives milk to snake is it true or false is it myth or a fact i think alka everyone is saying that it is a myth except one person who has just input true okay yes, i heard dad. somebody saying true uh, so no this is not true reptiles cannot digest milk actually so uh, they don't prefer milk so before a nag panchmi a snake is kept dehydrated for some times and when the snake charmers take the snakes outside for display the first thing people offer to a snake is milk so because it's so dehydrated it takes up the milk but it cannot digest it so later on it actually die it uh, it can actually die or get very sick because of the milk so it's better not to offer milk to the snakes on nag panchami rather give them some uh food that they actually feed on like a mice or a lizard next one is snakes 
dance to the charmer's music so is this a true or it's false statement false. it's false they move on the direction where the charmer moves he is i request the participants to type the answers my friend you can just type the answers and not speak because there were so many speakers and everyone will start speaking so it would be a ruckus and then we can't have fun so please just type the answers so so alka most of them are saying that it is a false about maybe 100% people are saying it is a false okay so snakes cannot uh, um, hear to uh, music but they can uh, feel vibrations but uh, when you see a snake swaying to the flute it's not because it's uh, following the vibrations or the music it's because it's following the tip of the flute and it's focused on the flute so as the flute moves the snake moves so it's not dancing actually next one is snakes do not mate for life and one snake will have several partners in its lifetime please mute yourselves and type the answers um, most answers are i think all answers are false and myth oh so actually uh, sorry but you are wrong this is a fact and the myth around is uh, if you kill a snake the partner will come after you to take the revenge and uh, like in movies we have seen if a snake is killed the nagin will come and chase the murderers and kill them one by one it's it's not true snakes actually have multiple partners in a lifetime and i think in every mating seasons they change their partners and it's not a very uh, big thing for the snakes so they don't stick around so they move on next one is snakes seek revenge so if you hurt a snake or you annoy a snake it will follow you to your house and it will take its revenge it's true or false so ka one person has said two people have said it's a fact rest rest everyone says it is a myth okay so it it is a myth but uh, the fa uh, fact is they are not vengeful animals and they do not remember who has harmed them or not so i think this is all i will wrap up now so before i leave i'd like to tell you that at 2:30 pm we are having a quiz so please join in for the quiz and i hope you enjoyed the session with us thank you thank you ma'am okay ma'am thank you Yeah, hi everyone. This is me here. Here, so please brace yourself up for the quiz, which we are going to start in about two minutes. I am putting link here, so all the you can go to this link. You must have got link, but if anyone is missing, you can just go to the link and put your mobile number, which you had given during registration. If anyone else is joining us who has not re registered, can also join, but just don't expect prizes, which are only for registered participants. But just for knowledge. please join us in the quiz we'll start in about 2 minutes
whenever whenever whomsoever wins and even for this quiz winners will be contacted via mail or phone okay. so i think now you can just log out of ms teams concentrate for creating captions in mentimeter and there would be google form yeah sorry there would be no google forms previously we had decided but so you can put everything on mentimeters thank you we will be declaring winners tomorrow thank you